perhaps we'll come back to the first patient you um, examined and you will do this uh, test, let's say, mm -hmm. because you already know uh, something about it. Um, the order is different, but the thing is you will uh, have to achieve uh, image that, that is uh, provided by the machine and uh, that's why you, you will get really trained uh, doing so. Okay, so we can start now the test. You have uh, five chamber view to, to obtain. Good, you are almost there. This is, yeah, you see? Aortic valve must be visible in this mm -hmm. view. Now four chamber. So without that, oh. Very good, yeah. Now, the next should be the intercommissural, yes, so try to do that. Mm -hmm. Slight rotation to see the valve and the ventricle, oh. slowly. Uh, yes, yeah, it was there, but slightly, yeah because you should see the coaptation line rather than the mm -hmm. uh, posterior part of the annulus. Now two chamber is just 90 degrees from this, yeah? Keep it for two seconds, good. Go to the next one, immediate esophageal, yes, you know it very well. Okay. AV, AV lax, it's uh, optimized for the aortic valve. Now, ascending aorta long axis, so you have to be slightly higher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Aortic valve short axis. Yeah, so keep it in the center and uh, descend, yeah, increase angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep it in the center first, yes. Mm -hmm. And slightly correct angle because it's not true, yeah. RV inflow outflow. Okay. It's almost there, but you have to increase the angle slightly. Uh, yeah, and keep aorta in the view. Uh, to, you, you, you increase too much. It should be around 60. Yeah, yeah. And try to find it here. Opposite. Yeah, more, 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 more. Aorta should be in the center. Okay, so you have to rotate like this and keep it here. Slightly increase, probably. We, we don't see the, the tricuspid valve, so. Mm -hmm. There must be. Uh, this is already by cable because it. it uh, okay, changed, yeah. it changed it the next one. Yeah, 90. My cable, left atrial appendage now. Like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Base of the short axis. Zero. And antiflex. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you are too shallow, yeah? Okay. And in the center, yeah? Mm -hmm. And try now to flex, the, do antiflex. Yeah more antiflex and I will just do something stupid, okay? And uh, we'll see if the report is going to <laughs> show it. me wrong, yes. Yeah. Basal sacs. Very nice, yeah. Mid papillary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good, you remembered about the uh, Releasing, yes, Releasing the, the helps, flex, yeah. yes. Transgastric, so you have to be more towards the uh, apex. Okay. Even more, even more, very apical, very apical, yeah. In, enough, okay. So probably if I, if I look here, <clears throat> you have to be very apical and do a little antiflex. A little, not too much. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay, it's, it was done, and now yeah, the two, two chamber. chamber. Two chamber. Two chamber. Uh -huh. 90 degrees now. Normally it beeps, the, the speaker is off, that's why it does not show you when, uh, when you should uh, go on. Mm -hmm. Slightly higher. Mm -hmm. Good. And the long axis with the orta. Oh, so Don't change there. nothing, just, just rotate clock, no. Just, ro yes, and now increase the angle when you have the orta in view. Yeah, so it should be slightly increased. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Um, yeah, it didn't. Yes. Uh, keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. The aorta should be more perpendicular here uh, to measure something, but it's okay. And now we did not uh, train the <laughs> descending aorta, which is the easiest. So now we go to zero degree and you go to the back. So in order to, to go to the back, yes, you have to, yes. And you see here, descending aorta, and now long view, long axis view of the aorta. Good. This is view number 19, and you did it in a very short time. Let's see what is the result. Finish, you passed, congratulations, six minutes for the whole test and very nice trajectories, very short times. Uh, you see, this is the moment when I force you to, to push the flex probe. Also, this orange line uh, gives us an idea how rapid were your motions. Mm -hmm. So when you do the study, you should be very slow mm -hmm. because rapid motions usually means that you may damage something. Mm -hmm. So this orange line should be almost as completely as flat, if, but if somebody is doing this, you know, uh, this orange line will go up and down and uh, show that you have not stable hands. Mm -hmm. This is very good result and congratulations Thank because you. you passed and this is your first uh, full, full examination. Yes. yes, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Good luck. <laughs>